morning in Your Money, we're talking about some common mistakes to avoid when dealing with your 401k. And joining me this morning is certified financial planner Jeffrey Massey. Good morning, Jeff. Thanks Good for being here. Good morning, Ben. All right, let's get right to it. Some of the first mistakes that you... But people leave their 401k with their former employer? That doesn't sound like a good idea. Generally, it's not. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One, it may limit the access that you have to certain types of investments. Uh, but more importantly, there are extensive fees that can be charged in a 401k. And 60 Minutes recently did an expose. There are 12 different fees that you could be charged wow. when you leave your 401k with your former employer. So generally, not a good idea. Uh, the next mistake, volunteering to pay a 10% penalty to the IRS. Why would anybody even... Well, a little tongue-in-cheek there. 10% uh, doesn't sound like that much, but... Well, it adds up. Yeah. Absolutely. And what we're referring to there in one of the mistakes is that if you leave your... Um, if you take money out of your 401k mm -hmm. and you're under 59 and a half and they send you a check, the IRS will be looking for a 10% penalty on that money in addition to all the taxes you'll have to pay. Here's a mistake that I'm sure a ton of people make. They try to take advice from a friend or from a buddy or from a guy sitting next to him at the bar instead of going to a financial advisor. Why, yeah. why is this mistake made so often? Well, you know, your best buddy with the hot stock tip, it usually isn't. Same thing with 401k rollovers. There is so much misinformation out there that you really need to work with a professional, preferably a certified financial planner, that really knows how to work with those transfers. Now, it's always good having everything kind of organized. Uh, one last mistake that a lot of people have it make is not having your 401k distribution papers on hand. Why is this bad? Well, it'll slow down the process. So if you meet with the planner and now you don't have your paperwork yet from the plan, mm -hmm. they have to then send you the documents. And depending on the type of plan, you might need certain signatures, especially like a spouse's signature, et cetera. So it can slow down the process. And if the market is tanking and you want to take your money out, you're handcuffed because you don't have the paperwork. So basically, just be organized. Always know. Be organized. Always be organized. Always have your stuff. Always go through a financial advisor. Don't don't Absolutely. take advice from your buddy. Exactly <laughs> right. And you're gonna have some tips for us that you're gonna send over to our website as well. Absolutely. We've got ten tips. Beautiful, Jeff Massey. Always a pleasure. My Thanks pleasure. so much, guys. For a full list of 401k mistakes that you want to avoid, it's very important. A lot of information on our website. Just head over to foxprovidence.com. Thanks. Guys.